Deck the halls with boughs of holly. It's a season to be jolly and be thankful for all that we have. Wishing it could last forever, not just twelve days in December through the joy and celebration that's on its way. Counting the days till it's time for Christmas Day. Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday, December 4th, 2014. I'm Jeffrey G, and this is The Dutchman. I just want to say good morning to the most awesome audience ever. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, I have the reveal, the Jeffrey G Show Christmas card. I'll show it to you in a second. Uh, I'm finally in the holiday spirit. Things are finally coming together. And they will keep on coming as the holidays go through. Anyways, last night, which kicked off my holiday spirit, was watching Christmas in Rockefeller Center. Uh, the show opened with Mariah Carey singing, All I Want for Christmas is You. However, she sang a lie. It didn't hit the high notes. And now there's this big thing online saying that she had a backup track. They found the backup track because NBC wanted her to perform live. And then she made everyone wait for three hours. So it's a little drama with Mariah Carey. But um, I've seen her sing it. I've seen her sing it better. But it's still my favorite Christmas song. All I want for Christmas is you. sing that another day. Anyways, so I got my holiday cards ready and the big reveal's coming. Anyway, tonight on NBC though, they have Peter Pan the Musical, which I grew up watching every day as a child, so I cannot wait to see it tonight on NBC, so watch out for that. Um, can I just say, I go back to work tomorrow, I've had all these days off, and I've not done anything, so I have a lot of laundry to do today, and blah, 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 but it'll get done, because that's how I roll. So I got a, 11 ways you are annoying your server, since I'm a server for now, I thought I'd share the list, and yes, I agree with every single one of these, so next time you go out to eat, think about these things before you enter the restaurant, people. Number 11, switching tables. It may not seem like a big deal to you, but normally the restaurant has it plotted out where everyone's going to see due to reservations. And also when you move your table, that means you have to switch the server. The managers have got to change the table to the other server, transfer everything over, and it's annoying. Number 10, not letting your server speak. So when the server comes to your table, Stop your conversation and let them say hello and tell you the specials. Nine, never touch your server or vice versa, never touch the guest. I agree with that. Eight, telling them you're allergic when you're not is just ridiculous. Just say you don't want onions because if you tell them you're allergic, they have to go through this whole protocol. So no onions, touch the food, no, you know, cross-contamination. Just tell them you don't like them. Be honest. Seven, uh, hailing at them when they're at another table. Okay, we see you. We will be with you. Can't you see we're with other guests right now? Uh, six, not listening to your server. Uh, especially when you're telling them at the specials. That is so annoying. It happens to me all the time. Listen, don't get on your cell phone because I'll stop and walk away. Five, saying you're ready to order when you're not, and then you hold the server up at their table, and meanwhile, they have other tables to wait on. Four, um, not moving your personal stuff off the table so the server can put down your food. Like, I love it. Like, I will go put down an entree, and the cell phone's in the way, and then I gotta, like, move it, and reach over, put the dish down. It's okay, but if your, uh, iPhone 6 gets ruined, oopsie! Shouldn't have had it on the table. Um, three, sending back food for ludicrous reasons, which happens all the time. Two, 
sitting at the table for hours after you pay the bill. Hello, we only make money when we turn the tables and get another party in to get more tips. And the number one way you are annoying your server is leaving less than a 20% tip. Happy Holidays! Uh, so, um, yesterday's question was, um, who was the person that can change your day? And my answer, to, I'm telling you my answer, myself. Because you cannot other people, we cannot let other people's thoughts, feelings, whatever, ruin your day. So the only person you're responsible for is yourself and your happiness. Now today's question, what are your goals and things you want to accomplish in 2015? We'll go over that one tomorrow, so think hardly about that. Uh, here comes Honey Boo Boo. As you know, the show was canceled after Mama June is allegedly dating a sex offender. However, now they're getting death threats. And bottom line, that's what happens when you put trash on reality TV. I'm sorry to say it, but that's how I feel. Yes, they're great people. They give, but... And I'm not... We'll leave it at that. <laughs> so, um, LA, ne LA neighbors are cheering... Ding dong, the Beebs is gone. Ding dong, the Beebs is gone. Because Justin Bieber's finally moved out of the neighborhood. And I'm going to be in L.A. soon. But we'll keep that under wraps for a while. So I got some quotes for you. The meaning of life is to find your gift. The purpose of life is to share it. Let's meet in our dreams tonight. When you think about quitting... Think about why you started. I do that a lot. And your self-worth is vital to your happiness. So go on and love yourself. All right, the big reveal of the Jeffrey G. Show <laughs> holiday card. There it is. Marry everything. So that means we covered everything. We covered Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, Christmas, everything. So you guys have a great, good, an excellent, awesome day. And say hi to somebody. Hi, Mama G. Hi, Richie. Hi, Pia Hayes. Hi, Shana. Hi, CJ. Hi, everybody. Have a great, totally excellent, awesome day. We'll see you tomorrow. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. It's the season to be jolly. See ya. Bye.